Army Hammer is <laughs> alleged cannibal army hammer takes center stage in new tv project and i do think that there's a bait and switch here because the name of the project is house of hammer uh and i i started looking into his family and it's actually really really fascinating like mm. his dad his granddad his great granddad and and we'll talk about that but it says uh uh to get started it says remember when army hammer was so wholesome he could play the lone ranger and no one batted an eye that feels like a lifetime ago that that you could get away with that wasn't johnny depp in uh uh, in that as well. Yes. Uh, oh, go figure there. It says, Today, Army Hammer's reputation has fallen so far that he's joined the ranks of Ted Bundy and Charlie Manson oh. as the subject of a true crime special coming from ID and Discovery. That is bull, right? The, like, did, Not even close. Did, did you Dude. see the framing this is the caliber there? of oh like menaces to society that we have now? It's right. pathetic. To compare him to Ted Bundy. I, know. I mean, Charles Manson is another a thing, legend. but Ted Bundy? <laughs> a legend in the serial killing world. Uh, we're trying to say safe, um, but like what he did in Florida Go yeah. look it up. It's insane that they're going to compare this guy to that. Yeah. So, so uh, like, right off the bat, I'm like, really? Ch just like Charlie Manson? That's that's fantastic. I, I don't buy it. So, basically, it says, uh, ID and Discovery Plus have announced a new docudrama titled House of Hammer to be, currently, uh, to be currently in production. The TV special will not only document Hammer's personal scandal. That's what I believe is the hook for this because Cannibal... Uh, on the headline is very splashy and it makes a lot of sense. You mm -hmm. know, it gets eyes on things. Uh, let me pick up where we left at. So, so the, the, but it also promises to delve into five generation of his famous family's history using archival material and interviews with survivors. Note, you know this, note this that is, word there. Survivors. Yes, this is confirmation of uh, vampires. By and the way. <laughs> uh, so survivors and family members. Like I don't know what family member is going to speak ill of, of them unless they're like actually like they're on survivors. The outs. <laughs> they, they must be the survivors. House of Hammer will explore what a press release described as dysfunctional dynasty with its male characters exhibiting. All the devastating consequences of privilege gone wrong. It's the most 2022 thing I have ever heard. Uh, basically, so me, I'm guessing that they married women and all those women are completely innocent. They did nothing wrong. They knew nothing about anything that was going on. But the, the Or they knew the whole time and ignored exactly. their gut feeling. Uh, <laughs> so Which was the taste of human flesh. <laughs> Uh, and we will get to that, but, but what's really fascinating is like his family is like deep in it. Uh, is in, he kind in American of a nepotism culture. child? I, I mean, Hollywood is kind of breeding ground for nepotism because mm -hmm. it's not what. You, first of all, when art is subjective, it's very easy to like. You can give them the role, and maybe they do good, maybe they do bad, but you can't really know for sure if somebody would have done better unless yeah. it's really, really awful. So nepotism is bred into that kind of world. Yep. There's plenty of actors who come from. Uh, famous stock that are also uh, uh, Emilio Estevez is a is a really good actor. True, yeah. uh, Charlie Sheen was a really good actor at certain yeah. things. Uh, Angelina the, Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Exactly. That's a that's a good one. So it says uh, Army scandal stems from a string of allegations against the actor made by a number of women, which have included screenshots he made from a secret Instagram account. In those screenshots, Army allegedly discussed. Uh, can we say those words on? I don't know if we can actually say that word. Our word the, fantasies. Our word fantasies <laughs> and cannibal urges with other women in a number of private messages. One of his former girlfriends, fashion app founder Courtney, I think that's uh, Vusev, uh, you uh, should know Vusekovic. Uh, given that I am uh, po Rithavik. Polish and Czech, I should know this, but I don't. You know, I'm Americanized. What can I Shame. say? Shame. Uh, Vukovic or Vusekovic, uh, one of the two. If I'm wrong, you can go ahead and leave a chat about how wrong I am. That's yeah. fine. Uh, uh, when public with allegations that Hammer would repeatedly talk about wanting to eat small pieces of her flesh. Quote, he said to me he wants to break my rib and barbecue and eat it, she I don't told know if Page a rib is a small piece. I mean, um, <laughs> interesting. We, we noted that he wanted to barbecue it first. Yeah, See, yeah. his next gig should be a cookbook. That's oh, what he really should do. He should make a cookbook. That's like that or he should star in Cannibal Holocaust Part 2. Uh, the sequel <laughs> that would be like uh, him doing the OJ Simpson if I did it yeah, yeah. like his own his yeah. own well didn't Bill Gates write a book about like uh, how to stop the uh, right I, 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 never, I never know what we can say on here without getting in trouble I like with, it this is like a high wire act without your without your uh, <laughs> without your tech overlords like kicking you out and telling you to get get out of here please don't so it says an unidentified woman has also come forward claiming that Army Hammer uh, R word and abused her uh, during a four year relationship uh, the attack allegedly took place in Los Angeles in April of 2017, during which the woman, who is only known as Effie, interestingly enough, if I remember correctly, the Instagram account was called House of Effie, which is kind of like the name of the of the documentary, which of mm. House of Hammer. Uh, 
He should wear hammer pants in all the clips. That's what he should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes uh, Claims she was <laughs> R-word And beaten by the now 35 year old actor Over the course of a four hour period That is a long uh, time to yeah. that, is, that, that was like And you mentioned something really interesting to me earlier Which is that you don't remember Like all of these stories come out and it all starts to run together and blend together. It felt like a uh, still kind of one of those COVID things that we were all talking about the same thing at once. Yeah. And this happened yeah. to be it that that week or that month. Yep. And it, I, I literally don't remember these allegations same. at all. I remember uh, solely these screenshots of the like weird text messages and us laughing about like how absurd it is. Like he's weird. Yeah. And he's how it's like embarrassing for him or whatever. I had no knowledge of any serious allegations like this. Do you remember the cop from New I think it's in New York who got in trouble for something similar? No. His, his uh, wife, I believe, found like literature about him, like fantasy he had about coking her. I don't know what happened with him. That is it. Um, he should have just said it was a creative writing class. That's what that. I'm saying. Like if they looked at <laughs> what I Google. Excuse. I was at the writing. <laughs> I, was, I was at the annex and I, I, I just, I took a creative uh, writing class yeah. and they said, uh, they said, talk about something that really gets you, gets you going. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, he, I'm going to write a whole book about cannibals. I just love the totally way Totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> like, Hey, uh, what's the, it's like, don't kink shame army hammer because he wants to cook a chick's rib. That's, that's his it's own crazy business. Right. Because that was actually part of the discourse back when this was popular off was like you guys are really vanilla if you think that like army hammer is weird for talking about cooking and eating his his girlfriends um that was literally <laughs> part of yeah, the discourse I, at I, the time I unbelievably had a, i had so. a roommate who wanted to cut her own hand off like yeah it was like she was into that that's kind of a stuff. thing so yeah. I, is she is should probably thing. find army I don't yeah know where she is now. that's a match you're out there heaven. right um i know a cannibal for you uh, <laughs> so so i but the thing is uh, i think that this will be just as much about his father and his grandfather who are both his dad ran uh, uh an oil company like his great grandfather started an oil company so his great grandfather's an industrialist an oil tycoon uh dad be blood. Uh, and then yes uh and then his dad so army's dad so his, uh the great grandfather's son so army's dad wow. took over the oil company and they had like a famous art gallery that I guess like went belly up in 2011 because they got caught uh, buying and selling like 80 million in like uh, counterfeit art huh. um, forged artwork wow. so uh, and then the great granddad if I have this uh, I'm sorry the grandfather not the great grandfather uh, was known as I have the quote here it says best known for his ties to Ox uh, Occidental Petroleum uh, the mm -hmm. company of his late oh that's his uh, okay I'm sorry I want to go to the gr this is for his so this is Army Hammer's grandfather Armand Hammer and yes they did have stake in the company Armand that's Hammer I, I was like that can't sorry. not be true right so what? it says was an American businessman and manager uh, business manager and owner most closely associated with Occidental Petroleum a company he ran from 57 until his death he was called Lenin's chosen capital List by oh. the press uh, and was known for his art collection and close <laughs> ties to the Soviet Union. So he was part of, uh, he, he gave this money illegally to, uh, to Nixon's Watergate fund <laughs> Mm. And also like was part of like he was really deep into like the Republican Party. Yeah. So the, I think what the documentary will do, it uses the cannibalism as the hook, but becomes just like uh, all the men in this family yeah. are toxically masculine yeah. and evil. Yep. It's and not that they're like toxically masculine, whatever you want to call it. They, they're literally just like corrupted cannibals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whether they're cannibalizing society or mm, nice. or women. Yeah, they're cannibals. That's a, that's good. Thank you so much. What Jake. was that? That what was that? Uh, Holy Shane's, mackerel! Shane's uh, first you guys time. Are, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start pole dancing now. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. No, you perfect. and Dane are both like what? really into one that. item at a time. I told Dane to be better if he dropped pig's blood on you guys, and he said money no. was better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it says. Uh, so his dad is still is still alive and uh, became turned Christian upon marrying his wife in the benefactor. So they're very much part of that industry. Uh, like the, the great grand or the grandfather was a Republican and all this stuff. And I really think that in these things they love to, to crap on this type of stuff. I thought something that was really funny the other day. I was looking through Hulu and there's a, a documentary about um, um, Ms. Maxwell 
uh, who went to jail recently mm, next to Ms. Mr. Uh, I don't know if we're like, literally, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Am I allowed to I say, think you're allowed to say Galen, I think you're allowed uh, to say Maxwell, uh, Jizz yeah. Lane Maxwell, yeah. Galen Maxwell. Yeah. yeah. Now uh, you're in trouble. So, yes. Um, so her it, next to Epstein, and then it's a photo of like, her and Epstein, and then Trump, and I think, I don't know if it was Ivanka, but they're all in the same picture. And the name of the documentary was Partners in Crime, which is framing at its That's highest. Crazy. <laughs> uh, like, he was in pictures with so many everybody. people. Yeah. Everybody. He was in a picture with uh, John Paul II. Yeah. Right. So, so it's like it's absolutely done on purpose to you know besmirch the the name of that person, mm -hmm. and this is how the media works. But I, that does not to say that this documentary couldn't actually be super fascinating. Oh yeah, it I just, does sound it does. interesting. Actually, it does. I just don't have any faith that they will be <clears throat> even handed in any of their uh, right. uh, like how they per, you know like, give put the information forward. We everyone's breezing by the word alleged. Yes, <laughs> it <laughs> says alleged. <laughs> You and don't know if he ate people. My biggest problem he, he here. He didn't though. Like we know that he didn't. Yeah. A he, bunch of not yet. A bunch of the articles don't say alleged. Like I had to put alleged in the thing that really? we're talking about today. But a lot of them just say uh, Army Hammer the cannibal. I'm like, <laughs> but what? Like, can, couldn't wow. you at least like, write like uh, a cannibal fetishist or something like that, which is maybe not quite as spicy. It's too wordy, but, Brett. Uh, yes, I know. I'm 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 long winded. It's not I, clickbait. I can't help. I, I can't help. Like that's the hardest. But part. I agree. Yeah, like I agree. so. It's like you guys like couldn't do him that uh, that uh, that little bit of or justice. yourselves the favor legally, right? Maybe. Yeah. Right when they get sued. If uh, he, so it was. It was. That's like the that. least interesting thing about it yeah. because like the story is that yeah, this guy is so um, wealthy and bored right. that this is the stuff that he thinks about. Like, right. like he has yeah. nothing to do. And then you start testing the limits of of your power over to, over people and Morality. what you can convince them is normal. Yeah, right. It's also hard right. to want to talk about this stuff because it's like when when like you said earlier, you said like when this happened, you kind of just it all lumped together and you're like, this is crazy. And now you're hearing all these far more right. serious accusations, but they're still just accusations. And given the world being in the state that it is, I have a hard time taking anyone's word for something right off the bat. If you do not go to the cops file a police report and attempt to have, uh, you know, and I know that that's humiliating and I know that that's awful, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, sometimes to get justice in a set, in a situation like that, her, like a form of like, like a Herculean effort needs to be made to bring that person to justice. Or are you just passing the, the buck on to the next person right. that that person attacks? And without that being seen, I don't, know if I can in good conscience anymore just take someone's word for it especially and it's almost to their detriment when the allegations start to be about cannibalism I'm like can you really take any of this seriously it's it's really bothering me because like cannibalism was not part of the allegation no. at all it no, was literally all. just some like passing note oh yeah and he like messaged me on Instagram stuff about wanting to barbecue my rib because he was bored and too shy to say it in person. Like, what a loser. But, but this, is what <laughs> the, this is what the media does, though. They have to take something and sensationalize it yeah. to what? a point. You know, they, they make money off those clicks. How shy can he be? Like, it's a good, like, he's a handsome dude. Like, that's, that's funny that he's too shy to I mean, to maybe say not shy, but, like, he's just... He's a weirdo. So you're saying like, boredom and money breeds cannibalism? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I am kind of saying that. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, we could like take that to to other conversations, but like <laughs> let's not. I'm just saying it if you're powerful and bored enough, then you will begin testing the limits of your power yeah. on the people uh who Maybe not are the most vulnerable. I wouldn't say always, but a certain type of person would have that inclination, I guess. Did either of you watch the following? No. no. The show the following? Okay. Uh, in the show the following, uh, it was based on, uh, it was Kevin Bacon and James Purefoy. Uh, and James Purefoy's character is a serial killer. And they phase him out. Uh, he's like, James Purefoy is an extremely charismatic actor. So people were not f uh, like fans of the fact that they were getting rid of him in season two. But it felt like the arc had kind of... Uh, run its course where do you go with that right. and what they did is uh, after the killer in season 3 they hinted for the start of season 4 that there was going to be one uh, it was going to be like a society of rich people who get away with uh, committing serial murder because they're rich like uh, one of the actresses like in, in the segment says like do you really think that uh, that 
the psychopath gene skips uh it just is like immune to the rich no they just have the money and the power to get away with it totally. uh so it's like uh, and and of course the show got canceled before that season got made uh so, so it's like uh, and people said the same thing like there was a conspiracy as to why the x-files well, got canceled both times and um and, and that speaking of that like a group of people doing bad things and uh this would be my shameless plug for the last inverted world book which you can get at invertedworldbook.com. Perfect. Um, it was beautiful. The last, the last uh, few chapters of that book are my investigation into the Long Island serial killer. And one of the conspiracy theories that came out of that was that there was a bunch of people working together, murdering all these people yeah. um, and leaving them in a certain place in, in Gilgo Beach. And uh, I think there is some, there could possibly be truth to that. You think there's some truth to that? I think so. Were yeah. those families of means or was that just a small town? Uh I think a lot of them had had a lot of money. And that's uh, it makes it uh, easier. I mean, the I'm sure the former dis the disgraced sheriff. <laughs> was, was yeah, involved. we talked. We, me and you, <laughs> yeah, we talked about right, that. Yeah, crazy. that's uh, so. It's just one of those things where I think this could actually be a fascinating segment, a facts, a fascinating series. I don't know if it's going to be a, a series of episodes. Docu series indicates that there would be more than one. Probably, yeah. Uh, so it would be very interesting to see where they go with this. But it's also it's like with anything like this, I tend to be very hesitant to believe that they're going to actually make something that's uh, even handed yeah. because they're going to go for maximum sensationalism, as with all these articles. <laughs> Let's review it then. Yeah. I I mean, oh, really, yeah. like, what I think uh, is the moral of his story is just, like, the banality of of sexual deviancy, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, especially the type that celebrities get into or um, maybe he's just... I felt at the time, like, my, my take on it at the time was that he is such a boring person that he had to come up with some weird uh, kink that is like a personality right. trait for him. Right. He's like, the eyes wide shut parties just aren't doing it for me anymore. <laughs> right. I, and, but, and you're looking at it as if he actually is that. Right. Like, cause I don't, I still don't know if that's the route he took, but I can see what you're saying that if he is someone who wants those things, I could see that's I don't think, how he went down that path. I don't think that it was like a genuine like thing that he was into. I think right. it was just like, I'm going to see like what women think when dabble. I say this, yeah. like, right. I don't know, <laughs> like trying to waters. shock people right. and feel like he's a lot more interesting of a person than he actually is. Cause he comes from a line of powerful people. Dang. Yep. So, uh, the consequences, uh, well, he's feeling the consequences now. He was actually, yeah. it's really funny. He was in, um, death on the Nile, which, uh, was filmed before all of the mm -hmm. controversy happened and got delayed because of COVID coming out. And, um, he was in the initial trailer and he was heavily featured. He ends up, uh, spoiler alert, like, 15, 20 seconds ahead if you want to uh, don't want to hear about the end of death on the Nile but he ends up being the uh, the bad guy in that mm -hmm. movie and he so he's heavily featured in the initial promotional material then COVID happens everything gets delayed all of this comes out and suddenly he's like uh, it's like an ensemble cast and he's like the last name listed and they just leave it's him ridiculous. off everything he's not on the poster anymore he's not on any of that stuff and then the Hollywood machine being the kind of uh, cynical I, the cynical industry that no no I'm saying the cynical industry that it is yeah. here is this stuff but they're like well we already invested all this money into making it uh, we're just going to try to hide him and then right. uh, and then put the movie but out but when, so. when I say Niedrich I mean like that's amazing yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just it just rained money in here uh, <laughs> is like they he's still a legend <laughs> like they, they try to get him out of everything we still don't know the whole story yet. like that's the world we live in now. I know, I like, know. It's they're a making the doc world. They're making the docu series before there's even anything to prove because that happened. That will shape the perception. Yep. Right. It's, and it's, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. six years from now when we're in court going over this, we will forget. You know how we all felt now because yep. this is creating that reality. It's kind of evil. It is evil because they can they manipulate the narrative. And I they mean, contort your I reality. understand that, and I totally um, agree on principle that they they twist things. But ultimately, I don't care about the reputation of Army Hammer. I don't either. And he probably deserves whatever. I don't either. To him. But but they get away with this with even ordinary people. Totally. Yeah. You know, that's that's the problem. Yeah. And we have to extend the same courtesies to even you know schmucks like this. Well, and, he's and well, people, he's the type of people. person that will survive like no matter yeah. what. Right. Yeah. Him and Amber Heard will have a great show in a few years. Oh, that would be a good idea. Thank, Thank you, you for making it rain money on me, whoever that I was. I don't think anyone saw that one because the camera, because you were talking. Oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry. Uh, Mary, do you want to read the Super Chats? Sure. Caper2x said, so who will be our nominee for the Alfred the Republican Cannibal Packer Award and Memorial Dinner? There was a funny folk song about it. That I have not heard, but that would, I, we, if only we could play that on air. I've never heard that. <laughs> 
<laughs> he also said, according to the judge, when he sentenced him, sentenced him to hang, there were seven Democrats in the county, and you ate five. LOL. <laughs> 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 um, Waffle Sensei said, here's five bucks to keep Dave employed. Oh, oh poor, you're so kind. Poor Dave. This mofo got beef with me now. Dab boy is trying to start a war. He don't want these fingers typing at him. <laughs> so true. Dave, where are you at in the chat, bro? Defend yourself. That is that is just sad. He's, I think he gave up. Probably tuck. <laughs> Uh, tuck tail and run. He's, he's out yeah, of here. Yeah, Dave is running. He, he is, he's uh, crying. He's, he's he going... says, I ain't scared of you waffles. I don't believe you. <laughs> Super chat and prove it, Dave. Yeah, Dave will have to do that. And then we can know for sure. But until then, who knows? Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.